How you doing? I'm Matt with 731woodworks.com and today we're going to be building crosses. A layered cross with multiple exotic woods like this with a coin, a Ten Commandments or a John 316 gold coin embedded in the center of it and also this American flag rendition of the cross with a In Valor There Is Hope coin embedded in it. Let's do it. Man, I really like building things. I like creating new things that I've never done before. And so if you saw the mallet build, you know that I've embedded a coin in a mallet before, actually a Ten Commandments mallet, and then also a, a Fallen Officer's mallet. So this is very similar, except we're doing crosses, and I'm using some exotic woods that was sent to me by working the grain hardwoods out of Bentonville, Arkansas. I'll link to them down in the description below. They've got a variety pack that you can buy and it's all types of exotic woods. So check this dude out. So I know you've seen, you've had to have seen these crosses that have the American flag with the stars, the 3D or the wood stars uh, glued on there. This is my rendition of that. I'm gonna show you how to build these. Uh, it's really simple and these will probably be a good seller for you in your local area if you choose to sell them or, or give us gifts, whatever you wanna do with them. So this be a good scrap wood project as well. So we just got one befores, that's it. I just used a piece of a one before, like I probably, I don't know, three, four foot long piece, that's it. And then stained it this blue, red, and white, and then embedded that coin in there. This thing is sharp, you hear me? <laughs> that's, I like it. Boy, did I learn a lot on this one. It ain't perfect, it's far from perfect. Some of the miter corners aren't exactly perfect. They're close, but they're not perfect. But that's okay, I'm not perfect. And that's why we have the cross, because we weren't perfect, and he was. Aha, look at there. I embedded that John 316 coin in there, Man, this is a beautiful piece. I mean, like, I'm proud of it, man. It's, it's awesome to be proud of your work. This thing looks really cool. Let me show you how I build these. You'll like it. So I've got some purple heart. Whew, it's pretty and heavy. We have some mora or yellow heart. And then we have some blood wood, which is kind of fitting for a cross. He gave his blood for us. So here we go. We're going to try this and see what happens. Shocker. There's gonna be no pocket holes in this. So we're gonna half lap this thing and so that the cross fits together such as this. And so we're gonna cut a notch down in this using my table saw with a uh, miter gauge and a fence. And you just wanna make sure everything's square and don't cut too much because you wanna sneak up on it so that everything when it locks together, it's flush. If it's not, uh, then the main thing is you don't wanna go too deep because if you go too deep, then you've kinda of messed this whole thing up and you need to Cut two more of these. So you can see that it's just a little bit, I need to cut just a little bit more. It looks like maybe a 16th. So make sure that when you raise that blade, you're not raising it a 16th because you're gonna be taking the pieces off of each side. Yeah. I got those things half lapped. I took it very slow and made sure that those things I snuck right up on there so that it fits perfectly. How did I know where to put the notches at on the cross? This is a 20 inch upright right here, okay? And so you're gonna measure down five and a half inches and make a mark, that's the center, five and a half inches to the center. And then uh, these boards are three quarters of an inch thick, the uh, three eighths on each side so that you got enough to do this. Does that make sense? So you're just gonna line these the top up with the cross member, measure down five and a half, make the mark, and then you'll do three eighths on each side of that mark. And that puts your cross member where it's supposed to go. Yeah, yeah. To not have a table saw sled, which I really need one, I know I do, but just using that miter gauge worked pretty good. So I want to dry fit this together and just to see if it's going to be laid out uh, right and if I've done everything right or if I need to make some edits. This is the base. Okay. 
I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's missing something. So if you're building one like this, uh, this is inch and five eighths inch wide is what I just ripped it. And then we're going to cut six of these three and an eighth inches. Let's do three and a quarter just because we want to. I need two four and an eighth. <laughs> Look at that. So we got this piece at seven and a quarter. This piece is at three inches. These are just one befores. Then I took a one before and ripped it down to an uh, inch and five eighths by two pieces at four and an eighth. Bada bing, bada boom. And then these are three and a quarter by inch and five eighths. So I cut that three and a quarter. That works better because all the grain's gonna be the same direction now anyway. Uh, now we just got to, what do you think, just rip the edge off of that? That would probably be better, huh? That way these match this. So I just used my palm router. So this is the white side chamfer bit. You can see it's the quarter inch shank, three eighths inch diameter. This is a very, very good bit if you're interested. Very much worth the extra price you would pay over something like the uh, cheaper brands. These are very sharp, very easy to use. Smooth as butter. So we know that this is the union of the cross. And then, so I'm gonna write a B on the back of this side and the top piece. So I know that those are gonna be stained blue. And then starting on the bottom, we'll start with a red R on the bottom of that red and then W for white. Or we'll just alternate red and white all the way up. I've got this water-based stain that I got at Sherwin-Williams uh, quite a while ago, a couple of years probably, a year and a half or so. Uh, this is just a white, just a quart of white water-based stain. Uh, this is just a blue and a navy blue, MWB51 navy blue. And then this red is a custom crimson and there is no color code, but red, white, and blue. I just told him I wanted American flag colors when I bought those, and that's what he gave me. There is no need for uh, pre-stain conditioner on using water-based stains. Stuff dries in about 30 minutes or so, maybe less. It's a really fast drying stain. <laughs> So I've let this dry for about two hours. This piece is dry to that piece now, the wood glue. I just took a 45 degree chamfer bit and chamfered this top piece uh, on both sides all the way around. And so that gives it a little bit of detail. So this is one of those things that I have no idea if it's gonna work. I, I really don't. Um, I think the main thing's gonna be that it's gotta be exactly center. Is that it? Is this, this is what we're gonna do? Let's try it, see what happens, ready? <gasps> Who's nervous? It's got John 3.16 on there. Come on, people. For God so loved the world that he only gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Yeah. How amazing is that? That's going to be... Ah. Yeah. That makes me happy. I ain't going to lie. 
I thought it would look cool, but I didn't realize it would look that cool. That's gonna be sharp. So Total Boat sent me this uh, Halcyon Clear. It's a rugged clear uh, gloss varnish. I've never used it before. I'm gonna try it on this cross. You can use, <laughs> you can use code 731 Woodworks at totalboat.com uh, and get you 15% off any order. If you wanna check that out. Hashtag not sponsored. Pretty thick. Uh, it's not supposed to ha uh, require sanding between coats, which is good. So I just got a piece of uh, 220 grit sandpaper. And I'm just gonna knock the rough edges off of this where I drilled down in there. Everything else is sanded. So it's time to oil this thing up. This is Odie's oil. If you haven't seen the mallet video that I made where I used it at Odie's, I really like Odie's. It's a really good quality product. It smells good. It's kind of a citrusy smell and it works well. So you just put this stuff on, let it sit for about 30 minutes and then buff it off. And so I'm just using an old t-shirt. It's actually one of Miss 731's old t-shirts, don't tell her. So I have got the Odie's oil on that thing and man, does it make the wood pop. Check, check, check it out. So now we're gonna embed that coin, but it's gonna be awesome. I want the John 316 facing out. This is CA glue. This is a Starbond medium thick. Uh, in a brown color. Now there's some accelerant that would make this dry super fast, like within a couple of seconds, if you spray it on there. So this coin is actually from relentlessdefender.com. Uh, they sell these every year uh, as for fallen officers uh, that were killed in the line of duty. Uh, in Valor, there's hope it says on top, on the back, it has the name of every officer that had died in the line of duty in 2018. And so I've had this coin for quite a while. It's just a remembrance of them and the sacrifice they gave and then the sacrifice that was gave on the cross. Yep, that was dumb. Don't cut small parts like that. I thought like a dummy that I could take this uh, little hold down piece and do that. Uh, this is a poor design. I, I went and researched it. You can actually do this, but the notch needs to go all the way down to back here with a little pad here to help hold down. It's a whole deal. Uh, I hurt my thumb. What happened was it kicked up into the saw and when it come around, it cut my thumb a little bit nothing bad just nick the skin but that's what the piece of wood looks like now very lucky that i wasn't hurt i knew it was dumb when i was cutting it it's one of those things where you're like you, when you know the cut's not right don't do it and i went ahead and done it anyway and so i ruined the blade it bent one tooth right there uh, on this blade and so this blade's done it's actually a fairly new blade so cut a longer piece and then cut these smaller pieces out so you'll 45 square 45 square as you're using your longer piece up, once it gets down about eight inches or so, you're done. Don't be like me. That was dumb. And I knew it was dumb and I still did it. Don't be dumb. Thank you so much for watching. Click that box right there is the best way that you can support this channel. Click in the box, watch the next video. Click in that box, get you that big old virtual fist bump. Hey, I know you guys are asking for more build videos. We've got some coming. We are just getting started on this channel. Let's go.